Uh, next question. Uh, why is Jupio Men so hands off with the community and why don't we hear from you all more? Why don't you do more Q and A's or blogs or anything like some of the other indie companies do? And why is so much information, including updates, drop rates, etc., kept a secret from the community? Well, I think I'll kind of go backwards on that question. I don't think we'll ever reveal drop rates. It's just not something we'll disclose to the people supposed to be secretive and that's the way it will remain. Uh, I'm sure the players can kind of figure out their own math on what the drop rates are, but that's up to them to figure out. Um, what was, sorry, there was another part at the end of that one. Uh, the other part of it was, why are we so hands off with the community? Why don't we do Q and A's, blogs, or anything like other companies do or handle the community? Um, I guess the easiest answer I can say for myself personally is just um, it's time. We have to dedicate time to that. And for example, like right now we have a little bit of free time and that's why we're doing a Twitch stream because we can, but the last few weeks we've, like we said, we were working 16 hours a day, nonstop, pretty much for two, three weeks straight. So finding the time to step aside and actually, uh, answer a lot of the questions and talk to the community, is hard to do. We would like to do it more often, but it, it's definitely hard to do. And it's also difficult um, just because of the position that we're in sometimes it's hard to answer questions and uh, just talk with to people honestly because anything that I say for example is someone like if I type something in discord you know someone someone print screens it and takes screenshot of it and they copy and paste it and it's all over the internet all of a sudden so we have to be very very careful about everything we say because you never know I could say something wrong and then everyone takes it one way and um, since our, our player base is so dedicated and uh, they're so vocal with each other those kind of things get tossed around a lot so we definitely still want to do more things um, it's just hard to find that time and hard to be able to, to do it just basically I, I don't know like do you guys have any more feedback on that one uh I just don't feel like we're not we're not an average company. We're a small team. We dedicate like all of our time to the game and working on the game and uh I think there's a lot of confusion about what my job is, which is what I'm going to go over next. Uh and it there's there's companies out there that do the blogs and the Q&As and stuff all the time, but they're not they don't have as many people playing their game, and their game might not be a uh, MMO-style game where it, it requires constant, 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 like, just overview and updates and, and watching over the game and making sure things are going swell. And, like, it's just, it's a little, we're in a weird situation, and we're also, a lot of us are also introverts. <laughs> this kind of stuff is really hard for us to do. Um, I, I don't know if there's much more to that besides the fact that we kind of pride ourselves in being who we are and we don't want to have to be someone else to make other people's happy or make other people happy i think that pretty much sums it up yeah and like what alicia just said i mean we'll grind really really hard on some new content and it's not like we just take a month off afterwards we're we take a few days off then we are right back at it working on the next thing like we got invasions and enchant out on friday and we took a couple days off we took saturday and sunday to actually be human again and then a moment monday hit we we're right back at it working on the next thing and it'll be non-stop until we get the next thing out so we just we work very diligently and hard and we we want to bring stuff to the players as, as much as possible so we don't leave a whole lot of free time for us to do things like that. Um, next question is for me. Uh, what does Leisha do? This one is such an what interesting you, what question. Do you do? Like, <laughs> do you, what do you do? What do you do anyway? Um, so, uh, for when we first started the company, we put me down as community manager, which I think was just it wasn't the correct title for what I was doing. It covered such a small portion of what I do during the day that uh, a lot of people took that at face value and thought I wasn't actually doing anything during the day. So as an example of what I do uh, while I work during the day, uh, 
I am in charge of running all of the social media sites. Uh, I check all the messages. I go through alerts, which there's always a ton every single day. Uh, I make sure all the websites are up to date with information. I uh, help when we do like uh, design meetings and stuff and I help come up with ideas and I handle a lot of the business paperwork. Uh, whenever uh, stuff needs to be done for Jupio Men's The Company, I'm usually the one doing all the signatures, going to the meetings with lawyers and tax re representatives and all the really boring stuff that uh, basically Mokolok and Sean don't have time to do. I, I cover everything in between just so that they can completely focus on the game and not do anything else. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think a good way to put it is Alicia's kind of like a jack of all trades, except for I think the only part of the game she doesn't touch is programming. But she's done a lot of design work. She's named in like all the familiars in the game. She's done all the names and the descriptions for them. She's done a lot of the art, or not a lot, but a good amount of the art in the game. Um, and then yeah, she handles all the business stuff. Um, pretty much, pretty much. She allows me and Sean to focus on the things we need to focus on, and so everything else kind of gets put off onto her. And uh, just to kind of put this out, like things like this Twitch Q and A, or uh, basically any of our social media sites or mo moderators, chat moderators would not exist if there I wasn't around to actually do all the the shitty work, basically. I am kind of a secretary. I kind of, I, it's just a jack of all trades. So we've officially changed the title to general manager because that kind of gives me a little more uh, room for <laughs> what exactly I do for the company. Um, all right. Uh, next question. Uh, would Jupio ever consider tasking someone with designing or creating Bit Heroes merchandise? And would that be okay to sell, or would it be okay to sell fan made items with the permission of the Jupio team? Uh, this is a weird one. We, I would love to have some sweet merchandise of like a Jupio plushie or something like that. Like, those, those would be awesome. Um, there's a lot of legal loopholes and things that you have to jump through make that kind of stuff happen I this is like the kind of thing that would like Leisha would deal with like I don't know what is really involved with all that can we let people do it can we not let them do it um I'm not really sure at the current moment our our basically idea behind the whole thing uh we're fine with everyone making fan-made items um we would rather you not sell it for profit um at least right now until we have some sort of system set up. But if you, uh, for example, the, the blubber plushies, uh, it, we don't mind those being sold with the intention of just recouping the cost of making them. Uh, basically just to make them for friends and stuff like that. But if you're selling for profit, that's a little bit different. And uh, since we are partnered with Congregate, it it's there's a lot of legal stuff in there that... Uh, it just is hard to deal with. Yeah, and even though we're saying this kind of stuff, we'd still have to go through like a full like legal team to like make sure this kind of stuff is okay. Like it's it's a very complicated matter. So the shirt, I think we would love for, we would love for that kind of stuff to be out there and for either us or for someone else to sell it. It'd be awesome. Whether or not it's possible, how it's possible, possible, we don't really know. Not very many questions left. Let's go ahead and do another mini giveaway. Since we're getting close to the end of our questions here, stream probably won't last too much longer. Let me go ahead and see what else we have. I see this one asked a lot here. Will you guys ever have an event where people can play live versus PvE content? Uh, we've talked about doing this a lot, actually. Not necessarily controlling versus PvE, but just having multiple people controlling their own character in battle. Uh, it's just more of a complication issue of like, let's say you have five people on your team, uh, they all have to take their turns, so you're waiting for constant turns, uh, what happens when someone disconnects, can they reconnect, there's just a lot of technical questions as to like what, 
what happens in this scenario or that scenario, uh, who's controlling the character when you're walking around in a dungeon, things like that. So it's, it's possible we might do something cool like that in the future, but there's just a lot of technical concerns with it.